Hi guys, this is Pavel. Uh, I'm a luthier. I uh, live in the Dallas area. I'm good friends with Adam. known him for a whole bunch of over 10 years. And I love this guy. He's my little brother. And I brought him the Zach that I had originally uh, designed uh, with Victor in Australia. Designed for Victor Wooten in Australia, yes. And uh, he donated it back to me so that I can cover some uh, medical expenses that I had. And I am not a, a, a heavy duty player like, like Adam is. And Adam, he impresses me. So I said, man, can you please demo this thing for me? There are things that he can do that I can't do. It's like kind of like a white man can jump kind of thing. <laughs> so <laughs> Adam can play and boy's got soul. So <laughs> that's what I'm here for. He's the second person to play that bass. I'm the first one. And he's got tone, so. I played this bass since 2006. This is a Pavel. And the person that was speaking is the luthier that made this bass. And I played this on my name is Victory Record. 2006, good gracious, that, that long ago. So these are both of the basses, as you see. What inch, what scale is this bass, Pavel? That is a 32 inch scale. 32, this is a 35. That's a 35, wow. yes. 35 B string. And I'm, this is kind of like a kid's bass, but surprisingly, it sounds really good. I was telling Pavel, though, there's a lot of things where I, I listen if a bass sounds. I won't say sound good, I would say to my liking. But something small like this. You hear that song with the mids off? Sounds a little weird, right? Put the mids in. This is this is flat. But listen to this with the with the mids off. Now listen to my my five with the mids off. You wanna hear the difference? Watch. Yeah, and that's dual coils in each pickup. <laughs> it's a, ah, it's this is the best sound of bass, um, period. Man, I haven't Look heard the vibrations of this bass in... Look at this, man. I got this bass in 06. I've changed nothing. I'm never going to change anything. Yeah, you changed but the you hear, you hear how it sounds? The mid's off? Mm -hmm. That's how I can tell if a bass is a good sound of bass. Miss off. And I gotta do a bunch of stuff with one Kent Armstrong pickups. That's one thing we, we debate on. I think the pickups has a lot to do with the bass. Yeah, but those pickups <laughs> are not Ken Armstrong pickups. You said it was Ken Armstrong. No, you, you, you didn't hear me right. Round. Ken Armstrong made those pickups for me according to what I told him what I wanted, right. how many windings, what kind of gauge, and what kind of magnets. It, so Ken Armstrong wound these to your standards? To, yes. In layman's terms, correct? Yeah, that's correct. He produced a beautiful thing, and he did like uh, 40 sets for me, 50 sets, somewhere around there. Yeah, this bass. Those pickup sound, he sent me, Ken Armstrong yeah. sent me quite a bass. few pickups to try out. I didn't like any I of them. I used to see the studio yesterday on a track, it's killing. It was killing the studio. And the engineer is a bass player. And the Oil. They're, they're not dual uh, bobbins like but that. you hear the difference? That's the neck pickup. Huh? That's the neck pickup. Oh. No, it's not. That's the neck. This is flat. Now I can hear the bridge. Okay, huh? go ahead. Everything's middle. flat? And this is, this is, this is the bridge. Compass. 
Spanish, and that's got a wing and neck mm -hmm. and a Macassar Avenue fretboard. This is Macassar Avenue fretboard, uh -huh. but you have you have a maple back, and you have a maple neck with mahogany. So it's a lot more clarity. It's not you don't have as much low end articulation and and a push in the mids as you do with that bass because that bass has got a winging neck. Every single note that so comes that, out of that, that bass is, is through that winging neck. This bass was designed for clarity, for cording, for soloing. You, so you're comparing a Bentley with, 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 with an Audi. You can't. After coming behind that though, that, this sounds. Come on, man, you know. I know, yeah, I know. Wash your mouth up with soap.
accept him as the Messiah. Now, if you read in the New Testament, it says that to the Jew, the knowledge of the one that came is like, what's the big deal? And God does things that people don't understand. You can go and try to evangelize the Jew left and right all day long, mm -hmm. 24 7, and it's not going to happen. Oh, it's not going to happen. It's okay. not because something about them, it's because God has a plan, and nobody can stand in front of God and, and uh, tell them what to do. Now, to the Christian world, Jesus, the one known as Jesus, which his name is not really Jesus. People say, well, that's a translation from Hebrew. Right, because Yeshua. J because J didn't come to the alphabet until when. Right, and Yeshua. Is, right. Because I know a lot about New Testament. Yeshua, the angel said to Mary, you should call him this because well, say, he will say. Give him the, brief, the, give him the, quick, give him the quick definition, Pavel. Okay, Yeshua, Tell him what kind of who you are. They're going to they, they sign up for Bible study. Yeshua <laughs> means salvation. Uh -huh. Salvation of God. Salvation now. Okay. So how does Jesus mean salvation? If it's a translation, then he said, oh, praise salvation. No, Yeshua, the reason why it's Jesus is because in Greece, any name that ends with an A, it's a female name. Okay. So they can't call him Yeshua when you have a man with a beard, you know, that he died for people. No. So then they went to the names. You have Apollos. Uh, Zeus, mm -hmm. all the names in males in Greece and with an S. So you have yet instead of Yeshua, they put Yeshus. Making a layman's terms. So then it was Jesus, Jesus Yeshua to y'all, basically. Jesus is a, a Greekified way of saying Yeshua. But along with that, there are many other things and beliefs and concepts that don't necessarily line up with Hebrew culture. So the Jewish people as a whole cannot accept Jesus the way that he is because of the way that he's being presented. One day, when the Messiah comes, he will reveal himself to the people. That's when God will open up the eyes and the Jew will believe who the Messiah is. In the meantime, the Jew has to uh, live his life and the, the Gentile or the Christian believer has to accept the Jew where the Jew is. And not so, so, let let me, so let me ask you a question. Do you believe that Jesus Christ... I is the Messiah, maybe I'll, I'll in, in layman's terms, no. In layman's terms, uh, no. I, I cannot believe in someone that came, and I don't want to offend anybody. You're not offended. You're okay. not offended. No, no, no. no uh, most most of my followers are Gentiles, obviously, but they're not going to be offended. But okay, I hope so. A man that came, and people label him as God, mm -hmm. it is cannot be the Messiah. Yeshua. They, or the Hebrew Messiah is a son, and when you go to the Hebrew, the meaning of son means mm -hmm. one that does the instruction of the father. That's why people are the children, their sons or daughters. So y'all don't. Son. So y'all don't believe in the Trinity, not necessarily. No, the Trinity is not a biblical concept. So the not Trinity is a pagan concept, actually. So y'all would say it's pagan based on like and, what? And if we're gonna say, let's say that. Yeshua is a Messiah. Jesus is a Messiah. Y'all, we've been having these conversations for hours. Mind you, I met, I met, I don't even know if they can see, can they see me? Yeah, they can see you. I met Pavel. I got this base in 2006, but I met you, what, 2004, 2005? I was really young I, when I met yeah, you. Yeah, I think 2005, I don't know. Yeah, I was like in my 20s, I'm four years old now. Yeah, you're still a baby. But this, I don't know what's going on down there, right here. Yeah, I'm, he knew me, but I couldn't go ahead. But my whole point is, <laughs> y'all just y'all just heard some, some of our theological rhetoric, and it's good because I have friends that's from all different, you know, uh, walks of life when it comes to theology. But it's all good. We, it's you know we can talk and have a good conversation. But in making my base, uh, we've been having a great conversation, and I, you know, and he's just not a great Luther that makes. One of the baddest actors in the world, but uh, you know, he's a Bible man. Do you believe in the New Testament or not really? Well, the New Testament is not Bible. See, the, the New Testament, Testament, the New Testament is accounts of what happened around that time. It's what is known as a midrash, which is a teaching of accounts. Now, Bible is Bible. The first five books of Moses. 
Then after that, you got the prophetic books. So that is Bible. So when Jesus said, Moses wrote about me, he's talking about the, the, the book known as Torah. Pavel, Pavel, I love you to death. But if you believe but. in the... It's not a but. But if you believe in the prophetic books, are you believing Daniel? Yes. Do you believe in eschatology? I know you don't. Yes. Because you're, you're... Yeah, yeah, I do. You're, but you're, but you're, you're, your lens and your optics of eschatology be totally different in minds. It's off a share of who Jesus and Messiah, all that is. But it's to me, I find it interesting. I'm not challenging it because I respect what you believe. But that that you being a prophetic book and how it correlates with the revelation. One sec. See, we prefer that. No problem. So that's, a, so that's the only book in the canon that you respect is revelation. No, no, no. No, I, in the New Testament, I should say. I re listen, I respect the entire New Testament. But it's how I see it. You know. I, I cannot, I cannot accept, I cannot accept that Jesus, or the one that came 2,000 years ago, is God. He's not. You know why I say that? Okay, play softer, play softer. Like, you sound like my Muslim friends, they don't believe Jesus was God, and my friends are Jehovah's Witnesses, they don't believe Jesus was God. The New Testament tells you that he's not he's God. Not. I, 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 I'm not no biblicist, and I'm not a scholar, but... No, am I? No, it's not how I read the New Testament. Listen, the stuff that's in the gospel has been proven historically and archaeologically that he did came, and, and it is true. It's in, oh, in a, the proof that he's, he's come. That, that he has come. Yeah, he did. He was here. And now, uh, I'll tell you this. Prove that he's not God. Mm -hmm. Okay, when, when he went to get baptized... John the Baptist baptized him. Yeah, when he baptized them, what happened? When he came word in heaven. This is why Peter said you better be able to give an account for what you believe because you're going to have all types of friends. Like I have friends like Pavel. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, when he came. Y'all better read your Bible. Playing in church and you don't mean nothing. When, when he came out of the water, you heard a voice that came from heaven. That's. Yeah, but you know what works here? That sounds good, though. This, <laughs> this, this is what makes it sound good, and this, <laughs> because the, I play, I get the sound, but I can't play like you play. I mean, you play hard. No, 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 no. Please, no, dude, please, dude. can you please play? Why? You want me to lift you up by no, me no, playing no, lousy? I mean, I mean, you make these beautiful instruments. I'm not, no, I'm not no, no. You play. I don't think I've ever heard you play. Yeah, you have. Wait, Nam or something? Yeah, Nam. I play that Nam. Not in front of me. Uh, well, why? Do you want me to look like a fool? <laughs> like a fool. <laughs> this is my favorite setting on this, on this bass. sounds a lot better with a little bass in it. That sounds really good. Y'all got Pavel in here, man. My guy, Pavel. Yes, 
sweet little bass, man. 30, 32 inch, right? 32 inches. Huh? 32 inches. Oh, it's, it's scale. you became um, British. I don't know where. I like it. Yeah, yes, guys. This is Pavel. One of the baddest luthiers in the planet. Yes, I said it. Yeah, this is my last year building. Hey, no, it's not. Stop saying stuff like that. Well, it's beautiful, man. Yeah. The uh, fretboard is Macassar Ebony. Macassar Ebony is what I have. Yeah, the core, the core is Koa. Oops. And I'm getting 10% for um, advertising it. Right. It's like, I'm, I'm just joking. <laughs> no, the core is, what, what is this? this You're is getting pretty. 15%. What is this? This Koa. Oh, Koa. And the back is what? Flame Maple. Yeah, you got flame in, maple, in case somebody, maple in everybody know about your bases, but I don't know if they ever seen you. So okay, this is good. This is good. Okay, you sit looking sexy. Okay, all right. Yeah, so this base, right <laughs> this base right here. Ah, <laughs> oh, this is great. This is great. Oh man, Papa, you so boss.